A mayoral candidate in Toledo is making Mike Huckabee and Rick Santorum look like the most reasonable Christian candidates for public office in America's history. Here's a short segment. You tried to destroy me this morning. No, I tried to get you, you to tried, give me details no, on your I plan. I can't give you which, every detail. Because you're unable to because you have no plan. I'm seeing, I came back and this word... This word will rebuke you. Okay. And I don't know what God is going to do. I have no idea what he's going to do either. None of us right. know. But but you are coming up against the works of the Lord. Okay. And you're not accepting it. And you're I doing am not. You're, you're right. doing retaliation on me. Of course you are. And you're you not doing retaliation. Do you know that in your uh, in your good book right there, it mm -hmm. says that if you don't get elected mayor, if you don't get the seat mm -hmm. in November, mm -hmm. that you are a false prophet. It's mm -hmm. in the book. You can look it up. Mm -hmm. Well, right now... And right now, actually, you are a false prophet because you said you were going to get elected before and you haven't been elected. So you are a false prophet, Opal Kobe. And right now, because you have called me a false prophet, mm -hmm. to my face, yes. I will wipe the dust, the very dust of my feet off against you. That's what Jesus a, told the apostles to do when they went to cities that were unwelcome you, to them. As a testimony against you. Mm -hmm. And whatever God does... The people will see it. All right. The people will see it. Fair enough. I rebuke you and I curse that evil spirit within you that what you have done to destroy me this morning shall destroy you. I speak in tongues against you. You are an evil man. And you. That's God speaking against you. A wimble way. A You're coming up against me. You're coming up against me. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Okay, I think we're I done. Thou shalt not prosper. All right. I Thou shalt not prosper, and the Lord shall come forth. Okay, he's coming forth. Did you wipe the dirt off enough, or do you need to wipe again? Listen, Eddie, you're still... Come on, i got work to do, Opal. You're done here. I'm going to leave. Yes, you are going to leave out this door, so come on. Wow. <laughs> that was so entertaining. I loved that. Can we watch it again? I love... I mean, wow, just... I feel like it takes like some some skill to do that. Oh, the like, speaking in tongues. I mean, yeah. I don't think I could do it. I actually, I often wonder the first time you speak in tongues, are you really nervous that you're not going to be able to generate sufficiently random nonsense? She kind of sounded like people who sing the national anthem and they want to get cutesy with it, and so like, <laughs> you know what I mean? They'll be like. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> You're saying she went went into the wrong career field. Maybe. Yeah, she I mean, she could singing. be a really great national anthem singer. Yeah. More power to that guy for for having her on. I mean, she's run for she's run fi five times for mayor. She's never received more than 400 votes, but she blames rigged elections for her lack of success. Uh, the rigging of elections is a very serious problem in recent she's American political history. I don't know that it's necessarily affected her directly. 400 votes. That lady got 400 votes. So apparently. Oh, that's a good point. Actually, I'm I, that that is actually scary. I mean, that, Okay, it's just somebody likes her. I mean, 400 people like her, actually. That's, mm -hmm. That is that, really remarkable. That is a creepy image right behind you. Okay. <laughs> That's actually pretty horrifying. <laughs> Can we go to her one shot again? Oh my God. Lean, lean oh. just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. She's oh sort of like God. peering above out. the chair. Looks like she really likes she's what she gonna sees. Come, she's gonna Margaret come Howell, you will not prosper. I, I, you will not prosper. Tell me about it, Opal. I mean, seriously. I <laughs> we, we've got to get on the soundboard. I wiped the dust, the very dust from my feet off. She's, I mean, I'm going to start using it. I'm going to write that line down and <laughs> So th this is like, this is fun and games, obviously, but it's also a little bit serious because Opal Covey is not going to become uh, mayor of Toledo. We understand that. Uh, but she's out there, and people like her are out there. And as Margaret pointed out, and I glossed over when I read this, 400 people voted for someone who is demonstrably insane. If I were trying, like if I was trying to get out of military service, and I was like, I gotta look crazy, I couldn't have delivered a performance like that. And America, for whatever reason, I think in a way that most countries don't have, we're primed to like these sorts of people and to almost elect Christine O'Donnell, Sarah Palin. Michelle Bachman was in government for a, a long period of time. We've got Mike Huckabee and Rick Santorum, 
who right now aren't doing well, very well in the Democrat and the GOP primary. But Rick Santorum won Iowa the last time around. People speaking in tongues and making insane claims about metaphysical laws that govern our reality. We actually kind of want that in government, and that's scary. That's what she represents. Yeah. So you're saying you wouldn't vote for her? I mean, that's well, I'd have to hear about saying. her tax plans. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I do want to prosper. I do too, and I might vote for her actually if I lived in Toledo, just for the pure entertainment value. You would never have to go see another movie ever again. You, uh -huh. you could just turn on local access channel and watch Opal. That Opal's would be fireside fantastic. Chats. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh. Who needs watch her tame a snake when you can just watch her do her thing? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs>